What's up, I'm Kyle, and this is The Vervet Forest. Nora and Shemesh moved to the Sav intro enclosure to meet the foster moms. A ton of females came to the fence to check out the new babies. But Nora and Shemesh were a little more interested in exploring their new digs rather than meeting the moms. Shemesh is a clinger and he will not let go of Nora. But Nora doesn't really seem to mind. She's actually kind of become Shemesh's protector. For now, they're satisfied, exploring their new home, climbing the new branches, unaware that their lives will soon change forever. Our two new babies from last episode, Hannah and Timothy, were moved to Disneyland. And let's just say Hannah's still not too keen on the whole idea of being inside an enclosure with humans. Timmy, on the other hand, is super chill, and he's just been hanging out watching Hannah with an inquisitive eye. Benjamin and Merlin did their best to try to calm Hannah down, but she just wasn't having it. Timmy is already climbing in and out of the feeding cage all on his own, thanks to watching Benjamin and Merlin. Next step is to get him to drink from the bottle inside of the feeding cage. Hello. Mo, Eileen, and Buffy are all madly in love, and Buffy has become quite protective of her two new babies. Over in the Goliath Troop intro enclosure, there has been a slight change. It seems that Dee Dee has given up on Mrs. Gold and has become more interested in playing with Joby and the other juveniles. Which means that Mrs. Gold and Jerry have now formed an incredible bond. We can say with certainty that Mrs. Gold has officially adopted Jerry as her baby. But no matter how independent Joby and Dee Dee become, they're still following Mrs. Gold and Jerry all over the intro enclosure. We finally got Stick to the Palabora vet to see what sort of damage had been done to his leg by the early removal of his pin. When we got to the vet, Mr. Stick got a nice dose of ketamine and passed right out. I got to wear some fancy clothes made out of lead and hang on to the little dude while he got his x-rays. <laughs> Turns out, the pin coming out of his leg on its own was no big deal. His leg has fused and healed up perfectly. The vet then made Stick a really cool custom splint for his leg and we headed back home. This is, uh... 
a downpipe. See that atrophied muscle, I'm pr really protecting it. So we protect it, this, this is the area that gives a problem, and we protect it there. And on, you, you can, just don't put it on tight, but you can work on this, eh? When we returned to the VMF, Stick joined his buddies in Disneyland. Benjamin, Merlin, and Timmy seemed pretty pleased to see Stick back in the enclosure with them but Stick was exhausted from his long day and fell asleep quickly in the branches. While Dave and I were at the vet with Stick, Dylan got to meet his first foster mom. A female named Eva was in the enclosure with Dylan. She was grooming him, she was following him everywhere, keeping a watchful eye. Both of them were very pleased. Dylan seems to be very calm, which is a huge improvement from the clingy little monkey he was a couple of weeks ago. As soon as everything seemed calm and perfect, two new babies arrived. The first was a very injured little boy, and his name is Butterbean. We were told that Butterbean had lost his mother, and he was attacked by a group of adult male vervets. The little baby was in terrible condition. His face was swollen, bloody, and bruised. He had a huge laceration on his brow line. His eye was nearly swollen shut. He had puncture wounds and gashes all over his body. He was struggling. He was in shock. He was terrified and exhausted. Tori and Megan did everything they could to stabilize and put Butterbean at ease. The sister's back first, I think. Just after Butterbean, we received a young female named Janet. Janet arrived to us from another animal sanctuary nearby called Care. They had gotten it from someone else, and there wasn't really a story behind her, but thank you very much to Care for bringing her through. Janet is tiny, 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 and very confused. Tomato sauce. <laughs> Tori gave Janet plenty of rehi, and Janet tried her best to drink from the bottle. That was too big, isn't it? But you should be okay, just calm down. The next morning, Janet had calmed down. Damn it, Janet! Also, we've been saying that all day. Well, yeah. I think that was the point. <laughs> and how excited I am for when Stick goes outside. And I hope it's still wet season when he goes outside. What do you mean outside? We're into an intro cage, so he's oh. on the dirt, so we can sit on the mud and we can say, look at that stick in the mud! and Butterbean was looking much better. He was sitting up, he was alert, he was eating solid food. 
but that does not mean that we're out of the woods yet. Sometimes a baby will bounce back like Butterbean just wow. before the storm hits. What are all those people doing? Why are they staring at you? They didn't even bring you any banana. Oh, that's so rude. <laughs> the two babies spent the day together. Janet drinking tons from the bottle and Butterbean getting some much needed rest. <laughs> Finally, based on Hannah's complete discontentment with being anywhere near people, it was decided that the best scenario would be to fast track her to Engelke Troop, to join with Elliot so that she could be with other monkeys and moms. First, a female named Emma and a juvenile named Boo Boo entered the enclosure with Hannah and Elliot. Boo Boo and Elliot love each other. They play rough and they get along great. The moment Hannah met the other monkeys, she was much more calm. Boo Boo and Elliot's rough housing was a little bit much for her, but overall you could tell that she was pleased to be in with other monkeys. It's gonna take a few more days before Hannah gets to the level of comfort that Elliot and Boo Boo are at, but she's calm, she's happy, she's meeting moms, she's getting groomed and that's the best we can ever ask for. That's it for this episode of The Vervet Forest. I hope you enjoyed it. Check back every week for a brand new episode. If you want to see footage or photos of the baby monkeys, check out our Instagram, which is at vervet underscore forest. And if you want to donate to help out the Vervet Monkey Foundation, visit our PayPal, which is paypal.me slash V-E-R-V-E-T. See you later.